What is up guys? We're back with another BIOS video and today we're checking out the BIOS here on the Sapphire Nitro Plus B850A Wi-Fi 7 motherboard. Now before we get started, if you're wondering like how do I get into the screen? How do I get in the BIOS? When you power your system on, keep on hitting the delete key on your keyboard. Just keep on hitting it and you'll be dropped into your BIOS and it's your delete key, not your backspace key, your delete key, the DEL key. Just keep on hitting that and you'll be brought to this screen. And this is actually the first time I'm taking a look at the Sapphire Core BIOS. This BIOS should be pretty much the same across Sapphire's latest motherboards. And this is my first time really checking it out. And it is quite interesting, especially if we're gonna compare it to, you know, like Asus Gigabyte MSI BIOSes. It's a lot different, um, probably because it is a lot newer. It feels a lot more modern than those BIOSes, which I think is a good thing. So when you do get dropped into the BIOS, you'll be dropped into this screen here and we will be going over everything because again, this is very new to me as well. So you have your time and date up here. You have the question mark, which just brings up sort of like this help screen. You do have a search, which is really cool. So actually I already put in voltage, but maybe we'll put in CPU. You can put in whatever setting you're looking for and it's gonna bring up all of those settings. So here's like our CPU settings. And again, I typed in voltage. And when I do that, it brings up all of the voltage settings. So it's really, really cool that the search brings up the settings and you can actively change the settings within the search menu. It doesn't just take you to that menu. You can actively change them, which I think is really cool here. The next thing here is just your language. And then this brings you to your save screen. And then this next one here goes ahead and just turns, uh, will save and shut down and, and do do all of that. So really cool um, that you have all of that right there. There is this quick set menu here. This allows you to enable or disable PBO. When something is enabled, it will have that glow around it like XMP. So that's how you enable uh, your XMP or Expo profiles. The only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't, sh if we have like multiple profiles on our memory, it doesn't show us which one it's enabling. Um, it would be nice to get like a little drop down or something there. Resizable bar in EUP, all quick set right here. Performance profile, you have your Sapphire default, you have silent and you have performance. You can easily change those. Down here for our memory information, um, it just lets us know what we have installed. Again, it doesn't let us know what the actual speed is that we're running or anything like that. It says the speed, but of course with the profiles, that's not the speed that we're running. Um, just gives us information right there. And then under fan profile, this is gonna be all of the headers on your motherboard. And if you do have something connected, it will show you a live readout of the actual speed. So you can see our CPU fan and our AIO pump. There is a setting here to go into the fan setting. And it is a nice layout here to set all your fan curves. Um, they have, you know, defaults. You can do user defined and set your own as well. You have all of that really nice actually. Um, and then down here, we do have our boot priority. And the way this works is all you do, so it goes like USB, M.2, hard drive, and I guess this is ethernet, and you would just drag and drop these. It's really easy to go ahead and do that. Right here would be how you update your BIOS. So you have to have a USB drive installed with the BIOS on it. So, cause if I hit that, it's not gonna find anything cause I don't have that in, you know, installed, but that's how you update your BIOS. And then over here, we just have basic info. So again, this gives us information on our BIOS build dates, all of that kind of stuff over here. And then on this side, we have our hardware stats. So it's gonna give you everything in real time um, on everything and all the disks you have installed. So all of that right there, pretty simple. Um, we have favorites, so I haven't added anything to this favorites menu, but any setting that's in the BIOS, you can add to your favorites, so it's easily accessed here. But as you see, as we go through this BIOS, everything is laid out quite well. So in advanced, um, we have, let's start over here, we have all these tabs at the top, and then within those, we have our settings. And you can see how everything's like really nicely organized. So here are our common settings. And then under devices, this is like things that are on the board. You can set your PCIe bitfurcation, your link speeds, enable or disable your LAN controller, audio controller, Bluetooth, wireless, all right here. Under storage, this is just gonna show us what we have installed. We have two NVMe drives. They show up here. We can't click into them to see any more information. 
um, but we do get, you know, just a live view of what we have there. Under power, this is all our power settings. TPM, this is all of the TPM settings. And then this is all of your security settings. Under overclock, this is where you're gonna find everything to go ahead and tune your system or do any system overclocking. So you have stuff for the CPU right here, your PBO, uh, which you just have, you know, if you do set this to advanced, you do get some more settings here, you know? Um, you can just leave it on auto if you want to. Under memory, this will be where you do see your XMP profile. So your XMP profile, you'll be able to see it here. I just wish you could see it on that main page as well. This is everything to do with your memory and then all your timings are gonna be here. Um, and you can go ahead and change all of these and then all of your voltages are gonna be over here. So it makes it really easy. And again, it's just, I feel like it's a lot better laid out than a lot of BIOSes just for the fact that like, I don't have to keep on scrolling down and down and down. Everything is within the viewing window here. So I, I kind of actually really like that. Under status, this gives you a live view of kind of what's going on. All, you know, all, everything for our CPUs right here, everything for our motherboard, our voltages, everything like that, our memory right here, our fans right here, information on the board or CPU, everything over here. And then some power settings are gonna be right over here. Under boot, again, this is just your, some settings for boot and then your boot priority. And then under tools, um, you don't have a whole month, a whole lot under tools. It's just basically saving and loading default options. And then you do have boot override as well as the BIOS update. Um, that is basically it. I, I do feel like this is slightly limited. Um, there is everything here, but you can't like, there's not a ton of super advanced settings that you would find say on like an Asus BIOS. But I think for most people, this will be fine. It's laid out extremely well. Um, again, this is my first time taking a look at the BIOS, so it is laid out very, very well. Um, you know, I just wish there's like, I'm, there's not a whole lot of settings. Um, I don't know, again, like a B, this is a B850 board. I, there should, there, like, it just seems like there'd be a lot more settings. If you, again, compare it to like an Asus or a Gigabyte or MSI BIOS, there's just more in those. But overall, I think for most people, this will work well. And for being my first time taking a look at a Sapphire BIOS, I like it. It does everything that I, that I, you know, need it to do. So if you have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next video.